Let's do a short session where we explore your ability to lengthen your calf muscle. Does your calf muscle accept lengthening like motions or is it quite stiff and stuck? Now, when you're in a seated position or even when you're in normal shoes with an elevated heel, that's taking all of that tissue and it's putting it into a short position so if it spends too much time there, it can have difficulty lengthening out again. So we're gonna do a short little uh, exercise sequence to help that tissue start to accept lengthening out again. Now I have a couple benches set up, but you could have a couple chairs and you can have a chair in front of you and your leg is gonna pop up on that. So we'll just sort of assess that out to begin with. So you're gonna take your leg and you're gonna fully straighten it out. This should be pain-free and comfortable. I'm gonna take my hands and just actively make sure that that knee is straightened out. And then I'm gonna take my foot, and this is called dorsiflexion, I'm gonna flex it up towards my body, feel the sensations at the back of my knee, through my calf. Ooh, a little bit tight, a little bit struggling with that motion. Take this one. You do want to do this with a perfectly straight knee because the calf actually crosses the knee. So if the knee was bent, you might be detecting some other stuff. Totally fine, but for this one, we're doing calf. Straight knee, I'm actually gonna pin that and hold it. And then I'm going to start to flex my ankle. And I'm feeling how well does that motion go? Does it just easily want to go into a lengthened position? I get quite a bit of feedback there. So let's practice and let's teach our body to accept that lengthening out, that it's safe, that it's okay, that there is some ability there. We're gonna do a couple different positions. So from that straight position, you're gonna take your knee and you're gonna put a little tiny bend and then you're going to put another degree of bend. So two really tiny little motions. And then you're going to take your ankle, you're going to flex it, flex it, flex it. That's called dorsiflexion. You're flexing your toes up towards your knee. You're gonna get as far as you can go. And then we're just gonna do three times towards pinky, big toe, pinky, big toe. Not letting go of that dorsiflexion. I've got my hands at the back of my knee and back. Now let's go towards that position of lengthening out the calf through the back of the knee. I'm not straight, now I'm slightly bent. Relaxed foot, flex, flex, flex. The knee angle isn't gonna change, flex over towards the pinky, over towards the big toe, over towards the pinky, smooth this out, good energy, checking in with your ability to tolerate lengthening out through the back. Now let's max this out. The ankle might be slightly pointed here. I might even lean back let the knee relax and soften. Now that knee is straight. I'm going to hold it there. I don't want a little micro bend. And I'm going to slowly dorsiflex up. I'm even going to close my eyes. Ooh, bringing that muscle into a lengthened position. My leg is supported. There we go, I've asked it to lengthen and then I'm gonna take my foot, pinky, big toe, pinky, big toe. My mind's eye is on the back of my leg, the back of my knee, checking in with the tolerance at the back of my leg, back of my knee, that big bundle of muscle tissue. Can I invite it? to re-lengthen out. Recheck, do I feel a greater sense of ease now that I've eased through some different knee positions to lengthen it out? 
even just a tiny bit of work and I felt quite a bit more comfort lengthening out through my calf. Oh, wonderful. Let's do the other side. So we've already assessed it out. We put it straight and then we're going to put a few degrees of bend. Tiny bend. Now I've taken some energy out of my calf. Tiny bend again, holding onto my knee, dorsiflexing up. Now I've just got the slightest bit of stuff happening in my calf. Staying dorsiflex towards my big toe, pinky toe. Nice and slow and controlled. Yeah, relax the ankle towards lengthening the calf. Oh, it's almost there. It's not quite there. Dorsiflex. Oh, I actually feel a little bit in my calf here. This side's a little bit more restricted. Big toe. Pinky toe. Work the whole zone that I may ask that calf to be long in be agile in, prepping the tissue for length. Three, back and forth, and now the last position, take that knee all the way to straight. This is gonna give my calf as much, uh, it, it's gonna have to go into as much as it can tolerate length here fully lengthening out, fully challenging my calf. I'm using my fingers to detect if I don't want even a tiny kink. I don't want any motion at the knee. I want it straight as long as that's pain free. It's straight. I'm going to dorsiflex up. I'm detecting this is where I get this little bit of sensation somewhere in the back. That's how much it can tolerate. And now I'm going to take it through the zone of its tolerance. Even relaxing my breath. Dorsiflexed up, straight knee. I worked through a few different knee positions to get here. The full zone of my dorsiflexion towards my pinky toe is a little bit harder to tolerate. Bring that back. Put that back down again, straight knee, flex up again, check my tolerance to bring the calf back to length. Yeah, that's wonderful. Checking in with the calf's ability to tolerate coming back into length is one of the most valuable things that you could do physically. There's a fantastic uh, little exercise sequence. I invite you to give that a try. And then from there, there's progressions that we can do and your body will thank you.